Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning into the Margo Lab channel. My name is Andrew, and I thought it'd be nice to go over some of the basics of how the ocean works. Since one of my first videos was on creating water masses based on differences in temperature and salinity, talking about the distribution of temperature and its relationship with density seems like a great place to start. But before I get into that, if you enjoy this channel, make sure you support its growth by subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All right, so now let's talk about temperature and the density of water. To start, here is a map of sea surface temperature measured by satellite. And as you'd expect, the surface of the ocean is warmer near the equator and colder near the poles. Now, what does that mean in regards to density and water mass formation? Here is a graph that shows density in grams per liter or mass per volume as a function of temperature. Generally, we can see that as temperature increases, density decreases. If we think about that conceptually with this cube of blue water, as temperature increases, the amount or mass of water that the cube contains does not change, but the size or volume of the cube increases because as temperature increases, the water expands, causing a decrease in density. Conversely, as temperature decreases, the volume of the cube will decrease, compacting the water and therefore making it more dense. Now, if we consider this schematic of the ocean interior, as warm equatorial water moves towards the poles near the surface, this water will get colder and more dense, making it sink. And when this colder, dense water returns to the equator, it will be subducted underneath the warmer, less dense water, resulting in the creation of water masses. And in the next video, I'll talk about the role of salinity in water mass formation. Have a great week.